Hello, my name is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to episode 92 of this Let's Play Crusader Kings 2. This is the March of the Vikings, and the last episode was one hell of an emotional roller coaster. Our previous Falker, Mordred the Fifth, I think it was, uh, was assassinated by the his sister. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was his sister. It might have been a spy master. I'm not sure about that. Then his son, within a year of taking the throne was himself assassinated, that time definitely by the spy master who has since been relieved of duties and yeah he's gonna die. And then that now leaves his brother Falkir Bertel, 13 year old, in power. Unfortunate because his brother was actually pretty decent, like he'd got level 4 brilliant strategist and I had high hopes, this guy less so. <laughs> um, currently being trained in thrift. I don't know. We might be able to get a better educator. Although she's not bad. Except she's a misguided warrior. Yeah, that's not going to work. So we're going to change your educator. We're going to see who is around that is good at stewardship. We have Tora, who was the wife of your brother. Uh, she wouldn't be bad, actually. You know what? She'll be your educator. And more to the point, because she was suitable for the brother, so she's suitable for you as well. Um, we're going to marry you to her. Range betrothal. <laughs> Relative of Seedsman, Tora would gain 300 prestige. Marrying into the House of Viking, we would also gain 300 prestige. Or she would. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I would lose 196. Yeah, that's totally fine. So, we'll do that. Then the... Evil vassal person, I think. Is it Lord Riki? Yeah, it was definitely him. 26 intrigue. I want you dead. So, we are going to arrest you. For the murder. Can I arrest you? No, but there are other ways of doing it. I can revoke you. That would just be an act of tyranny. Council says no. Oh yeah, of course, and I have the bloody council as well. Oh, this is frustrating. Um, oh, why can't I imprison you? Needs to be approved by the council. Damn bloody freaking council. You're not going to have any loyalists for quite a long time, I think. Yeah, because you're so young. Who is the designated regent? Please be... Refil. Good. Refil's decent. We like Refil. He likes us. And he is really, really good. Uh, so he makes an excellent regent. That's totally fine. Alright, so in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to jump back on the ships and go raiding. Thankfully we still have our generals. Like so. Let's go raid. Kent again, or should we go and get Wessex? We'll go and get Wessex. Like so. Now I'm fully expecting bad factions to start rising pretty rapidly. The Empire of Scandinavia has not been this weak for quite a while. Ooh, our personal domain is really strong. Is that because of Refl? Yeah, our realm stats are really high right now. Purely because of him. He is holding this whole show together right now. Okay. Oh, you're a genius and your son is slow. Man, that must be torture. Okay, so we are going to drop you off here. That's a tiny army. We'll crush it. Petty Kingdom of Wessex. But all of the holdings here are owned by Mercia. <laughs> uh, Alstagartland's doing well. Holland is doing well. Okay, good. Oh, we could have raided Middlesex as well. Probably has more money. 55. Winchester has... 72. No, Winchester is in fact worth more. Now because we are technically raiding Mercia, Mercia might actually come and try and fight us. Which would be somewhat annoying. 
Fabricate a claim on the Empire of Scandinavia. Yeah, you really need to die. Yeah, and you're not going to fabricate that claim, buddy. No, 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 no. Mayo oh, box. There's a fight going on. I didn't even notice. Oh, we won it easily. Um, known plots. We need to find any that are against me. Uh, does not look like there are any. No. The only one that there was, we got rid of. Who's that? It yours? Oh, you have a son. Who is sickly. Well, that's annoying. I wonder if he will remain the heir. No, probably not. Like When you get a son, you'll probably get an heir. Thankfully, your military skill's gone up somewhat. Even though... Hang on. I was being trained as a steward, was I not? Was that the other son? Oh, that was the other son. I don't actually want you as the guardian. Shit. I was looking at the wrong character. Um, educate child. You. And yeah, we want a military mastermind. Right, can we get a refill? Because he is a brilliant strategist, and I think he would give you an excellent education, though you only have about a year left to go. Right, here become the dangerous factions. Increase council power. Yeah, this is something that we need to try and stave off. I like to climb, wrestle, and run. As I grow older, I'm beginning to notice that I'm physically stronger than others. Oh, fantastic. You become brawny. That's good. That's very good for a fighter. It means that he will live a long time. Mr. to favour on King Holmgar, the ill ruler, forcing to join other factions. Yep. Alright. When's your birthday? <laughs> We're going to have a fight in our hands. Uh, 25th of April, 1166. We're currently in January. And that's gone down again. Yeah, I think that was your father who was giving us those really, really high numbers. Oh, your brother even. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Prince Torgil is probably also a steward. You are fussy, which doesn't help. Curious and an idolizer, which I would say is actually learning. And you are the youngest son. Uh, matrilineal betrothal to the heir, right? I'm going to say no. How about no? Siege of Winchester. Making a bit of money. And yes, I'm going to totally sit on all of this cash because I'm going to suspect I'm going to need mercenaries. But the factions haven't grown as large as I was expecting them to. Like, actually, the uh, relations have been fairly positive. But again, I don't know if that's towards me or towards Refil. Refil might well be the glue here. We have a claim on the uh, Duchy of Iceland. That'd be quite nice to have. Might have to uh, go and press that one. Is that against Burgundy? Or was Burgundy cr crushed? No, it's against Saxony. Saxony and Burgundy are still one title, damn it. Are they? Yes. I should probably have gone for that and tried to split them when I could. I probably still can. I just need to find someone with a suitable claim that I can fight for. Uh, you've improved relations with King of Finland. Who is not the uh, bastard who tried to have me killed. In fact, how are we doing with the other vassals? Oh, did he die? I think he died. Yes, I do believe he did die. Um, I'm going to continue raising relations with the King of Norway. I think Norway might well be the key here. Because the King of Norway is so strong. You can tell vaguely how strong they are by the amount of tax they're giving you. So, for example, Nordariki I don't usually spend much time bothering about, because he produces no tax. Norway, however, does.
it, Denmark. Damn it, Denmark. And there we go. Dangerous factions increase counter power 155%. Catholic rebels have risen up in Scorner. 5,000 men. Is anyone going to go and deal with that, or am I going to have to do it myself? Well, actually, I can just get... I'll get my loyal vassals to do that for me. Uh, you lot... Go home. You're my personal vassals. You guys, however... Come over here. So those are the armies of the kings under me. I'll quite happily squander their troops. And send my own personal guys back home. Alright. And you, Nordariki. I see you trying to hide there. How are we doing on the siege? We're getting there. My spy master has died. I wonder who's responsible for that. Oh no, the, the evil spy master's dead. I'm not hiring you. You don't like me. Although you are very weak. Oh, you're a Russian. Yeah, you wouldn't like me. Um, Frerek. Frerek. I don't want Tora doing it because you're going to be my wife. And we are definitely scheming because we want to discover plots against us. And we are also going to send you a gift to make you more loyal, and we are going to grant you an honorary title, which will be Law Speaker. That is the one I tend to give the Spy Master. Basically, whatever you say is law. Because <laughs> if it's not, you just kill them. Regency has ended. I finished my education. I feel I've truly found my calling. Okay, so he is just as good at fighting. You are also ambitious. That is excellent for a ruler. Okay, we have potential. We have definite potential with this guy. Please don't die. <laughs> please, please, please don't die. Uh, we are going to set up this betrothal. Yes. It is everyone's concern. That is even more money. And I wish to have an ambition, which I'm actually going to say is... Nah, I don't care about the holy. Gruminer. I was kind of hoping that it could just be peace and prosperity. <laughs> we'll just sit back and wait for the faction to fire. Who have you got in it? King of Finland. King of Norway, damn it. Despite the work I did. And I can pick a character focus, which is going to be hunting. Invite to plot. Fabricate a claim on the Kingdom of Finland. Class the Noble. Um, he's a Scarred Varangian. He's done his bit. No, I'm not going to get drawn into... Uh, that type of thing. I'm just going to sit back, sit on my massive pile of money and wait for bad things to happen and then just crush you with overwhelming mercenaries. Um, why is there no character here? Do I want to fight? No, I do not want to fight. I'm going to specifically say we are not fighting. I'll get the Viking bonus just from... actually, you know what? I would quite like the Viking bonus. So I'm going to fight here. Hi guys. Okay, Berta won. Damn right he did. Which means I can also send you guys home. We're up to 9,000. There we go. For too long you have restricted the political influence of your vassals. The time has come to give the council more power. Submit to this demand peacefully or face the consequences. What exactly is it you're after? I'm going to assume it's for the war declaration. I'm going to say, no. You're all going to jail. Which is putting me at war with a very large chunk of people. So we are going to slow time down. I'm going to see precisely what we're fighting. Yeah, it is the entire empire of Scandinavia. Except for Nordariki, apparently. And our own territories. There is going to be a major dividing of power here. Quite a significant amount. So we're sending you home. We're going to be raising our own troops. And those are my still loyal vassals, which we're going to have in Gotland. Is there really disease going on? Oh, bollocks, that's not good. And then you lot come meet here. Well, there's actually a way to get some ships. Okay, open council positions, of which there are many. We are going to have you as a diplomat, Eamond as our marshal, he's pretty good. You as a steward, and you guys are still loyal. 
So, our one and only king, which is Nordariki, I'm going to try and keep you happy. So we're going to send you up here to deal with that. The marshal, we're definitely going to train troops here in Gotland, because that is where the most of our troops come from. And we're also going to be raising some tax money. Let's group you guys together. We'll see what kind of armies we're up against, but they are going to be powerful, and they are going to be big. This is going to be far worse than the war with Lombardy, and I wouldn't be surprised if some other international foes rear their ugly heads. Like, we need to divide and conquer here, definitely. There's an 11,000 man Norwegian army. They're already coming. Okay, the fleet's home. We're going to send the fleet over here to go and grab these traps so they don't get isolated and destroyed. To group you up. We're going to need to find some new commanders too, I'll bet. Yep. So we do still have a number of good ones. Toril. Karzaz. Toril, uh, Tora can fight. We need to make you like us more. You. Send you a gift. And also, honorary title? I'll designate you the regent. Just in case bad things happen, you will actually be in charge, and you will need to like me more because of this. Alright, group. There's a 4,000 man army here. Let's head off and go and deal with that. Start moving. When do they arrive? 15, 16. Actually, we'll stay here. Let's have you guys group together and march. And you are going to have some good commanders. Ah, do I want to take the field myself? I'm an amazing commander. I have no other traits, except I have aggressive leader, which is actually going to be useful here. Yes, I'm taking the field myself. Yeah, we're sending in the full group. Enjoy this. Alright, so the 2,500 have arrived. We are outnumbered, but these guys do arrive on the 4th of October, which is in three days. Now, 10,000 men. Ooh, I've become a berserker. Okay, this is excellent. Plus four more marshal. Okay, that helps. My marshal skill is now 28. And the ships have arrived. We've got another 3,000 men over there. Uh, they're about to arrive. We'll wait just a little bit longer. Go, 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 go. There we go. Group onto there. Okay. I mean, the difficulty we're going to face here is that the rebels are going to be taking stupid amounts of land, so occupation is going to be our constant uh, problem. We're going to make you humble. Actually, no, we're going to give you duty. So you know whose side you're on. Okay, it's just Hjalmar of the Scandinavian Revolt. Does that mean that you're going to be sending your personal levies, or are you just doing the rebel thing? There's another large group of enemies coming. Let's go and meet them in chest. I'll send you with your 3,000 man army to chest. The ongoing civil war has caused both loyal veterans and various adventurers to make their way to Gotland for the muster. Excellent. Free troops. Definitely use those. Let's group you together before you get crushed. Uh, you arrive on the 12th. That's today. Okay, we got the attack. We outnumber them. I'm not commanding. Why am I not commanding? Shite. Why am I not commanding? This is fine. We've got another 3,000 coming in. You serious? This is a very dark time for Scandinavia. I wasn't even in command. Fuck's sake. We have a two-year-old sickly child in charge. He's not going to survive.
Um, no, your educator is not her. Actually, yes it is, that's fine. Shit. Yeah, at least we have a decent regent. Council is discontent. Well, what are they going to do? That hasn't already happened. Oh, man. Alright, we won that fight. Big battle. Victory. 13,000 men on the way. Alright, it's time for some mercs. <clears throat> I think we want to hire the Victor brothers. We have the cash for it. Let's go. Um, I can't believe I died already. We've had three rulers in what, two years now? Uh, you don't like me very much, but I'm just going to bribe you. Seti, we're also going to bribe you because we need you to be loyal so you actually fight for us. Fuck's sake. Don't usually like swearing in these games, but fuck's sake. Scheme, because you need to keep me alive. Um, yeah, everything over here is Germanic. I might well lose the uh, empire here. Well, lose the empire. We have a couple of advisors. Yeah, you are definitely one of them. You're the second. I believe my chancellor is still in place. Yes, he is. All right, thirteen thousand man army. We're going to let them take the attrition. We have our own reinforcements coming in. And they should be taking attrition from the disease. The disease has just disappeared. So we are going to send these guys in to the fight. We're going to go in after. And they are taking huge casualty, 25%. In fact, you know what? Let's just sit here for a little while. Yeah. Siege it. It's, no, 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 stay here. We're just going to let you melt away. I don't need to fight you. I'm perfectly content to just let you melt. Especially if you're taking 23% casualties every month from the winter. Oh shit, I'm taking the same. So let's split you in half. And split you up before the end of the month, please. I'll do. Where are you going? Varand. Alright. You are commanded by Ketil, Totil, Ingyald, Zygmunt. Toril, Nabur, oh no, you were Toril, and then Tora, no, I'm not going to risk you, you're taking 26%, you know what, when do you arrive, 18, when do you arrive, 14, I'll do this, alright, improved relations, that's good, I... Right, they've got some reinforcements in, but so do we. We have 16,000 men here. Why did my centre collapse so quickly? I need to balance the troops, that's probably why. 3,000 men on their way. We're going to get out of here pronto. Because it's a disease-ridden, horrible place. We're going to march over there. I'd love to go after Sudaman land. But we need to be careful. We need to be very careful. I forgot to reinforce my centre again. Hopefully it won't matter. Archery phase is taking a while. Okay, we've broken all of their sides before we even get into melee. The centre once again broke. We need to bulk that up. That's fine. Alright, let's group you. Auto balance. Going to Erland. We don't seem to be suffering attrition here. 
Right, so what I'm actually going to do is terrain map? No, there must be a, like a winter map mode or something. No? Yeah, I think it's just by if there's actually snow on the map or not. I know where my lands are. <laughs> I bloody well should do. So I think we're going to need to win this fight, basically just in a series of battles. We need to be careful of the disease there. So we're going to go to Verand and then Vestigard land. It is now July, it's the middle of summer. Why was there a severe winter in like June? Right, they have 10,000 men over there. Why is my command center changed again? Alright, we have 10,000 men, they have 11. We need to win that fight. We really need to win that fight. Is there anything I can do to make that victory more likely? Oh, that's the Nordariki army, hello. Oh yeah, Victor Brothers come with boats. I don't think you need them. Um, oh, you're an 8,000 man army? Rust Company? You're expensive and I'm... Yeah, hemorrhaging money. Let's not do that. So you're probably better purchased than the Victor Brothers. You're gaining 57 men a month. I'm getting 140. This is a freaking huge risk. Right, we're attacking with 6,000 heavies to their 3,000. 3, I think we'll be okay. We have better commanders. They have no commander at all on the left. Right, the left is engaging. Theirs is about to break. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, our right broke. No! Ah! Why do you suck? Right, we're going to fire the Victor Brothers because I cannot wait for them to recover. Seeing as we're down to 800 men. Oh, good. I'm no, not sickly. Right, good, good, good. And we're going to hire them. And we're going to chuck them at you. And that was a... 47% oh, war score loss. Oh, great. Someone who doesn't like me is now in charge. We'd better bribe him. No, don't do that. Do that. Right, we're just waiting for time to pass. It doesn't look like their actual armies are really getting involved. They're, they have their own wars going on, which is nice to see. Alright, more in February. I massively outnumber you. Two to one. Don't understand how I lost that last. Are you kidding me? No, no, no! Don't lose. Good. Hold on, the right flank. See, this was only an eight percent war score. Well, I think I'm going to have to call this episode here. So, thank you very much for watching. If you are enjoying this series. Please do hit that like button. If you haven't done so already, then please do consider subscribing as well. Catch you next time. Bye.